Aikido, Aikido martial artists that have jumped onto film. He gives it a realistic street-like, you know, twist on Aikido because it's very graceful, very balletic when you look at it at a, at a demonstration. But what he does is he gave it an application where people who don't know anything about Aikido will go, oh my god, that's incredible. The difference between action films now and what happened back in the 80s and 90s is CGI. You know, Hollywood is codependent on, on special effects. They're no longer the muscle-bound heroes. Bruce was born in November 27, 1940 in San Francisco. His dad was traveling with a Peking opera. He was a performer. And his wife, Grace, was, uh, was expecting Bruce at the time. Fist of Fury was probably the most energetic performance out of all his four films. I think it showcased the raw energy of him as a film fighter. That was when he started spreading his wings. As far as Game of Death is concerned, I wished he'd have lived so I could have seen exactly what his vision was with that. But what I've seen with all the outtakes was I saw him becoming a true artist. You saw more strategy this time. Each style, each person, each, each level had a boss. Each guy had a different skill set that you had to adapt and change in order to beat these guys. And that was, I feel, his, his philosophy in martial arts. I think Bruce's gift to the people of Hong Kong and to the people of the world is to find your own truth in life. When you look at what he's done in only 32 years of his life, it can only inspire you. Um, if you look at how he started out as a kid, a you know, child actor, um, getting into trouble, and then he, f he essentially found his own groove. He looked within to find the answers, and you know his back was against the wall when he came here to America. And he never gave up, you know, and I think it's very important for all of us to, to follow your dreams. Uh, he, he believed it. You've got to believe it, because if you don't believe it, nobody else will. And when you do that, you, I think you, you, you galvanize that, that philosophy with the universe. And, and that's, I think that's what he did. If you look over there in the middle of the field where that where the truck is backing up, that's where we shot most of the fight scenes for the two days. I think we, I think it was, it was two days, about two days we shot the fight scenes here with Jet. And then um, we, we pretty much used this whole field. And then uh, over there is where, where the gang hideout was, where we were spray painting. So this is a real famous place in LA, and now they're destroying it. And that's where we uh, set the house on fire. I realize now looking back that it was Jet's first movie. Uh, outside of the People's Republic of China, he did those three movies, um, and then this this was I think this was his fourth, uh, and then along with Dragon Fight, and I can't remember which one was first. But what happened was, um, I remember I, I, I learned that um, that the the studio was taking a big gamble on him. You know, it's like can this martial artist act? <laughs> what was it like working with Jet? It was an honor. It was an honor and a pleasure first. And then um, it was it was really interesting because you know um, the guy hits hard, <laughs> very hard. Uh, I've never been hit that hard before in my life. What happened uh, was we did about seven to ten different fight scenes, and um, unfortunately, you'll if if you look if you look at the, what was edited in that movie, you'll see me dressed up as three two or three different people. You see me with a cap on, then you'll see me without the cap. And, and I'll be the first guy to get, get the arm broken. And then, but you'll, but you'll, after that happens, you'll see me as the third guy. You know, I'll, I, I think I've got like a stick or a knife and I'm, and I'm coming in at, at Jet again. So it's like, you know, we shot like 10 different fight scenes. It was, that was real interesting.